Alright, welcome to my video of how to program a second gen Highlander. I assume it's probably the same with uh, most any newer um, Toyota vehicle using Toyota's TIS TechStream, which I got off of eBay. So first thing we're going to do is I'll start up the software, get that rolling. I'm also going to put the key in the ignition and turn it on but not start the car. We've now got our TIS up. Going to click connect to vehicle. This system allows you to have four wireless remotes programmed to your vehicle. I'm going to go ahead and select the option that I do not have a smart key. So it pulled up my vehicle correctly, including the VIN. Now we're in the vehicle. Everything is yellow, meaning that there is no connection currently. If we wanted to do a health check, that would light all of these up that are available. This vehicle is not equipped with a sliding, uh, sliding roof or anything like that, so that one would actually show up with an asterisk. Um, anything white with an asterisk means the ECU is not supported or is not responding. Um, for the means of keeping this video short, I'm not going to do a full health check. That takes about five to ten minutes. We're going to go into the main body ECU. Once inside the main body ECU, we're going to come down here to utility. I'm going to try to read these screens off to you because I'm almost positive you won't be able to read them on the video. Then we've got several options here. Uh, the ones we're concerned with are wireless code erasure, or eraser, misspelled, or wireless code registration. If you are just adding a wireless remote to your vehicle and not deleting any previous ones, you can use the wireless code registration. However, this vehicle was pre-owned, so I'd like to get rid of the remotes that I don't have. So I'm going to go into wireless code erasure. I'm going to read this just because you guys may not be able to. Welcome to the wireless code erasure wizard. This function will delete all registered wireless remotes except for the one you are using. Please confirm that the following conditions. Ignition is on, which it is. Driver side doors opened, it is. All others are closed, correct driver's side door is unlocked. Correct. Caution, the registration process will fail if the time limit is exceeded for any step. It's going to give us 30 seconds to do this. Step one of three, number of currently registered remotes. This right now says two because I went through this whole process before making a fool of myself and trying to make a video without having done this before. So this used to say three because I've got two remotes and the previous owner kept one so there was three registered to this vehicle previously. Now there's just two but I'm going to erase them. Next. Okay. On the next screen you'll have to perform the following operations within 30 seconds. On the remote transmitter, push lock and unlock simultaneously for one second. Within three seconds, press either the lock or unlock button again for one second. So here we go. Okay, so I programmed my first remote. It's erased all other remotes from the system. It says wireless code erasure is complete. I click exit. To confirm that, I can come back into Wireless Code Erasure again, and now it will show me I currently have one registered remote, which is perfect. So we're going to go ahead and cancel that. And now we're going to add my second remote through Wireless Code Registration. So we're going to come into Wireless Code Registration. Welcome to the Wireless Code Registration Wizard. This function is used to add a wireless remote. Please confirm the following conditions. Ignition is on, which it is. 
Driver's side door is opened and all others are closed, correct? Driver's side door is unlocked. Caution, the registration process will fail if the time limit exceeds <coughs> time limit is exceeded for any step. We click next. Number of remaining remotes that can be programmed is three. Number of remaining uh, number of remotes currently registered is the one we just programmed. We're going to add my second one. Click next. On the next screen, you'll have the 30 seconds to perform the following operations. On the remote transmitter, push lock and unlock simultaneously for one second. Within three seconds, press either lock or unlock button again for one second. So here we go. Sometimes it's a little finicky. There it goes. Wireless code registration is complete. Press next to register another key or exit to exit this function. We're going to go ahead and press exit. Last thing we want to do is diagnostics. Um, actually, first let's come in here and we'll see. We'll make sure that we have two codes registered. So we'll come into the code erasure. We'll click next, and it now shows number of remotes currently registered is two, which is perfect. Cause that's both the remotes that I have. There's no longer three remotes there from the previous owner having one of them. So now we can come in here and do some diagnostics. So we're going to go into wireless door lock diagnostic mode. This function is used to identify the following conditions if a wireless remote is currently registered and if the vehicle is receiving a signal from a wireless remote. The system is now ready for us. It says press either lock or unlock, annoying Windows updates. Press either lock or unlock button on the wireless remote, then use the information to below to check the status. Intermittent beep means the wireless remote is currently registered. So I'm going to go ahead and press a button. We're getting an intermittent beep, meaning that wireless remote is registered to the vehicle. I'm going to use my other remote. We're getting intermittent beeps, so that one is also registered to the vehicle. If we had a continuous tone, that means it is receiving a wireless signal, but it is not registered to this particular vehicle. If you're getting no beeps at all, the vehicle may not be receiving a signal from the remote. The remote is being used. Um, the remote being used may not be compatible with this vehicle. So we exit. It exits programming mode. You can go ahead and close this TIS text stream. That completes the video, and I hope you guys find this helpful.